Let there be beer. That is the clear message from the world's highest football authority, FIFA, to the host of the 2014 World Cup, Brazil. Beer has been banned in football stadiums here since 2003, an attempt to reduce violence between rival clubs. But FIFA's Secretary General Jerome Valk was adamant. It's part of the FIFA World Cup, so there will be, I'm sorry to say, and maybe I look a bit arrogant, but that's something we'll not negotiate. I mean, there will be, and there must be, as part of the, of, of the law, the fact that we have the right to sell beer. He spoke to reporters in Rio de Janeiro after touring stadiums across the country with former football star Ronaldo and Brazil's sports minister Aldo Rebelo. The minister has repeatedly said Brazil would meet its commitments, but he needs Congress to come through for him. The government sent them a general law based on its 12 commitments. Brazil is also battling FIFA to offer cheap tickets for senior citizens, students and indigenous groups. During his visit, Valk repeated FIFA's concerns that Brazil simply isn't working fast enough on stadiums, roads and airports. In fact, he said the stadium in the northern city of Natal was officially behind schedule and suggested Brazil might have fewer than its proposed 12 stadiums, but they would soldier on. So it's well known that to organize a World Cup, we can organize a World Cup with eight, we can organize with eight stadiums. Security is another challenge. In Rio de Janeiro, police have stormed dozens of shanty towns to eliminate violent drug lords ahead of the event. But many more are still controlled by rival gangs. Meanwhile, Brazil needs to modernize its roads and privatize its shockingly overcrowded airports, while plans for a high-speed train from Sao Paulo to Rio de Janeiro haven't even left the drawing board. Shasta Darlington, CNN, Sao Paulo.